Tonight, Chelsea Haimuna has a place to go and is safe. She is one of Hine Nako's regular stayers. The Women's and Transgender Night Shelter in Tauranga is the only one of its kind. However, it is only open for four nights a week. Chelsea is one of many women sleeping rough in the city due to a housing shortage. She says when you are deprived of most things in life and lack the support to meet your most basic needs, it takes a toll and affects your chances of finding stable accommodation. It's so stressful to live like that, like waking up on a Friday, all your stuff's on the road and you're like wondering, oh no, am I going to get a place today? Um, are they going to renew my stuff? With nowhere to call home, a Chelsea had to do the unthinkable and give her son to her family to care for. When I was asking for help, so it was like, can you help me with my son? They make you do programs when you're not applicable, even to do programs because your mental is just like, oh no, I just need a house or somewhere to stay. But they make you do all of these things just to get into a room that's not even stable, that like you could be out in like an emergency again. So it's just a lot of stress. Rosie Mills lost her home in a fire and has been living on the streets on and off for three years. I've had to sleep under trees. I've been in a motor camp. I've had to leave a motor camp. I've been in a house for three months over COVID last year or the year before. And after that, it collapsed, everything collapsed. It's just like, I couldn't find anything. Hine Nako opened in May, and for women like Rosie and Chelsea, it's a lifeline. Before this place opened, I was just living right on the roadside, like didn't have help, didn't want to ask for help. There was no woman shelter for women. So yeah, when this place came out, I was so grateful because I got a job down in town and um, I needed somewhere to have a wash and all that stuff to go back to work. So this place has been so good. Kaiafina Nairi Papuni does intakes each night for the women who stay at the shelter. She says it's a challenging yet rewarding role and she connects with women through her own story of survival. Through my own struggles of um, living with um, all the abuses, um, which you have gambling, alcohol, um, physical and mental abuse. And Nairi says many of the women come from volatile situations or where violence is often present. I see a lot of mental health, the mental health issues um, from depression to um, schizophrenia um, and also um, the drug abuse that only enhances their mental health. Um, we see that, we get um, dropped off um, a lot of mental health ladies. Uh, we're not really equipped for, you know, we haven't um, learned to deal with them yet. But um, thankfully for my upbringing and being around those that sort of far know, um, I sort of know, I can identify. The night shelter is currently open from Sunday to Thursday, but soon the lease will end. The Trust says they are still looking for long-term funding so it can help more women in need. People judge you and it's embarrassing. Fortunately, I sort of disguise it a bit and I never stay in the same place. So I might go back to a place, but I don't stay in the same place. I'll hide around doorsteps or something like that. I do all sorts of stuff, but never the same place because if you stay in the same place, people can see you and then they turn around and go, she's homeless, she shouldn't be here. She's in the way. Delilah Whaiteri, Local Focus.